Hi guys, welcome to today's QGIS tutorial lesson 15. In this video, I'll show you how to clip raster layers, generate contours, and style a raster layer in QGIS. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you can get a notification when I upload the next lesson. If you're new to my channel, you can follow all my previous lessons from the links in the description below. Let's get started. So today we are going to learn about clipping raster layers with two two ways of clipping raster layers that is using a mask layer or a clip layer and then using an extent then later on we are going to generate contours from these uh, clipped extent of the raster then later on you're going to style our raster layer so let's go to qgis and load the layers that i have uh, actually created for this exercise so we'll open a qgis project new project we have a blank project we're going to add a raster layer i've already downloaded the raster layer if you if you don't, don't know how i got this raster layer you can uh, look at the links in the description below there's a lesson that uh, shows you how to get this raster layer so i'm going to load a dm file for a region that i have chosen for you i'm going to the gis folder data then dm then there is the oromia Ethiopian raster data and then there's a DM file here I'm going to load the DM file then I'm going to click on add and it has been added and I'm going to click on close so this is our raster layer the second layer that I'm going to load now is a vector layer so I'm going to go to add layer add vector layer and I'm going to look for the vector layer that I want to add I've already created a vector layer here in the folder called the area of interest that is the Dawaro the 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 region. I'm going to add it and you can see this is the region of interest that we want to actually do some little bit of uh, clipping using that region. So I'm going to just style it first so that we can actually see what's underneath this layer and look at all the operations as they, as they take place I'm going to just make it a so this is our area of interest I can even even uh, decide to label it so I'm going to label it single label and there's a second uh, the second attribute name, name I label it using name two and then I just make sure that the layer has the same color as the layer style so we have a region here called the Wuro and we just want to first of all cut it off from the rest of the raster layer so how do we do that how we are going to do a clip operation now to do a clip operation you're going to go to raster because you're dealing with raster layers now and then we are going to just scroll down to extract then under extract you can see we have two options one is clip by extent and two is uh, clip raster by mask layer so the first thing you want to do is we want to clip a raster by a mask layer so i'm going to select clip raster by mask layer the mask layer is the clip layer if you have a polygon you can actually be able to clip that to to cut that raster layer so i'm going to select use a mask layer then my input layer is there the DEM file so I'm going to select the DEM file here the mask layer is the area of interest that we might be having other polygons here but make sure you select you select the right clip layer then I'm going to leave uh, source CRS optional target CRS is optional I'm not going to set any values here so I'm going to just keep with the resolution of uh, of uh, of the of the input layer 
I'm not going to set out up the output file. I'm just going to leave everything as it is, and then I'm going to save a temporary layer. I'm going to click on Run, and it will run. Give it a few seconds to run, and it's creating an output. And you can see the clipping of the raster by mask layer has finished. So I'm going to click on Close, and you can't actually see any change here because the layers have the same kind of uh, of uh, color. So I'm just going to uncheck the first one. And you will remain now with the clipped layer for your region. So this is the clipped layer. So th that's one way of actually clipping the layer. So this is clip layer by mask. The next thing you want to do is you want to clip the same layer without using this area of interest. So we want to actually let me just pan it. So let me zoom in to a region. Let me just say let me zoom into this region. So I want to clip this region here. How am I going to do this? Uh, I want to, the, the first one, we actually use the mask layer. Now the second way of clipping is using an extent. So I'm going to just go to extraction again, then clip raster by extent. And then I will use the output, output still. Then the clip extent, you can calculate from layer of interest or the clip or output you or use the map canvas so i'm going to use the map canvas extent or you can just draw on the canvas i can use the map let, let me just draw and click on draw then i'm going to just draw where i want my accent to be so it has actually selected the coordinates for where i want my mask layer to be i'm just going to skip everything here and click on run and it's clipping give it some little bit of time and you can see it has finished clipping it has finished clipping here so i'm going to click on close and now you can see there's a new layer here if i uncheck the original big layer i will remain with the clip layer here so those are the two ways you can actually be able to clip either you clip by mask let me zoom to layer with this you can either clip using a a mask layer of, or just a polygon or a boundary or you can actually clip using just an extent so the choice is yours you can decide on which kind of way you want to actually clip your raster data now that we have our two layers the clip by extent and the clip by mask we can decide now to do the next thing which is generate contours for the layers so I'm just going to uncheck the, the one for the extent so that I remain with the mask one. I'm going to zoom to layer. So we want to generate contours for this. How do we generate contours? We do the same process. We go to raster. We go to extraction still. Then we go and select now contours. And what are we actually using as our input layer? That is the clip mask. This is what we want to get the contours of. Then what is the interval between the, the, the contours? I'll say maybe let's say let's let's put a hundred let's no let's put a let's let's put two hundred or three hundred let's put three or two hundred two hundred is okay then what is the attribute name elevation then the offset I'm going to leave that so I'm just going to leave the everything else the way it is and making I'm going to just save as a temporary file then I'm going to click on run and it it will take a very very short time to run this and we'll have our result and it has said contour finished so i'll click on close and you can see now if i uncheck the clip mask there's some contours that have been generated and when i open the attribute table of the contours i can see a field called elevation which has the elevation values and what i can do is i can just uh, label them single labels I'm going to use the elevation as a label technique then i'm going to make sure it's a text i'm going to give it a color let's say maybe this red here so that it can, it can be displayed nicely these, these are no they're, they're a, a brown color then i'm going to make sure that i draw a buffer white buffer around then uh, placement i'm going to just make sure it's on the line not about the line and then it's curved at parallel then i click on apply okay 
and then wait and you can see it has actually labeled your contours so i'm going to zoom in so that i'm able to see the contours nicely and you can see these are our contours if i remove the this layer you can now see we have the contours for for the region that, for region of interest so you can do the same thing for the other layer the other clip by ex, the, the clip by extent but now we want to go to now the next process because it's this is just the same process you just now want to go to the, the next process which is styling the your raster layer so we are using the uh, clip mask we have already gotten our contours now i want us to style our i want us to style our raster a bit so how do we style our raster go to properties right click on the layer go to properties then you go to symbology it is a single band gray color so we're going to use single band pseudo color then uh, under single band pseudo color there's a color ramp here we're going to leave the interpolation to be linear then under color ramp we can select uh, create a new color ramp then we're going to select the catalog city city cpt city then okay then now we're going to select since you're dealing with topography i'm going to select topography and you can see there is a very nice elevation here and i'm going to click on okay and then i'm going to classify now my values so i'm going to click on classify it has been given me some classes here of the data my data range i'm going to click on apply okay and you can now see i have styled it very very nicely uh, using the different colors so i can actually even put the contours now and it looks much better but then we can go further on and style it even more so that it looks even much better when you are making your nice map so what i will do i'm just going to create a duplicate of the same layer which is the clip mask so i'm going to create a duplicate of the same i'm going to duplicate this layer so i have a new layer here called the clip mask copy i'm going to check it then i'm going to also style these now it's it's all it has already adopted the style of this but then i want to just change its style a bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to properties then instead of single band pseudo color i'm just going to say let it be the rendering type to be hill shed then i'm going to leave everything by default click on apply okay and nothing changes but if you want to see some changes because this layer is below these are the clip mask layer. This is the copies below the clip mask layer. We can actually now change the transparency of the clip mask layer. So how do you change the transparency? You go to properties. And then we go to transparency. So I'm going to put a transparency of maybe let's just put 50, 40, 50. Let's put 50. That's close to 50. I click on apply. Okay. And you can see now we have styled it a bit more. I'll just uncheck. Uh, okay, so we have actually styled it a bit more, and you can see it looks much, much better. So that's how you actually you can actually style and put maybe say you can see here something like a river. It's it's, it's a low low it's a low area. So that's how you clip your raster layers by accent or by a mask layer and also style your raster layers and generate contours in QGIS. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more on QGIS, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon so that you can get a notification when I upload the next lesson. Otherwise, I'm just happy you're here. See you in the next lesson.